work at the International House of Pancakes. Thank you very much. <laughs> you set your goals and you go for them. It was a dream, I made it happen. <laughs> it was the worst job I ever had in my entire life. And I'll tell you something, when people would be rude to me, I would touch their eggs. <laughs> It's a true story, I just flip them over in the back with my hands a couple of times. They didn't know, I felt better, it worked out. I didn't want to, I had to. It was a terrible job, people complained all the time about the service, and you know, we weren't slow, the floors were sticky, we were stuck in the back trying to get to the tables. We had to make little human chains to get those cakes out there. We did it. So me or do I have the worst posture in the history of the world? I hope to eventually go all the way over and become an O. <laughs> I would like to go on Sesame Street and represent the letter O. <laughs> Little career girl. By the way, too, if you have huge fat thighs, what you want to do is kind of sit on your legs so you get the full spreading. <laughs> Actually, I am kind of a screwed up person, I admit that openly. My, my parents were very weird. My mom was one of those angry moms that gets mad at absolutely everything. One time when I was little, I knocked a Flintstones glass off the kitchen table. She said, well, damn it, we can't have nice things. <laughs> and now she does a weird thing. She calls me up to tell me things that my dad does that make her mad. Have your parents reached this phase? I, I don't even understand the things that make my mom mad. She'll say stuff like she'll call up and go, like my dad has a garden in the back, so she'll call up and go, comes in here that damn zucchini. <laughs> and I'm waiting for the next sentence. Because I'm thinking that can't possibly be it. No, 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 comes in with a zucchini and what? Hits you with it, rubs it on the wall, something. No, but that's actually what she's mad about. Comes in here that damn zucchini. I try to seem upset just to be supportive. I go, ah! What does he come right in with his, ah! She's got a whole bunch of them like that. Sits in there on that damn couch. Okay, now he's gone too far. What, does he sit right on the actual car? Ah! And they did a really scary thing recently. They bought a Winnebago, um, which isn't that, that, that means they could pull up in front of my house any day now and just live there. Well, I tell you what, they're not getting any water and they're not plugging anything in. I should have thought of that a long time ago. Does anybody else's mom have an avocado seed in the kitchen window so with the toothpicks in it? Now, what is that, witchcraft or something? I had no idea what this was for a long... I thought it was a model of my dad. Drowning. My mom said that she learned to swim. Somebody took her out in a boat and in a lake and threw her off the boat. That's how she learned to swim. I said, Mom, they weren't trying to teach you to swim. Now, I was born in Alabama, but I only lived there for a month before I had already done everything there was to do. <laughs> Even as an infant, I was bored and crawled to the state line. <laughs> Last summer, I was in Atlanta for a week, and it nearly killed me. It was awful. I would be walking down the street, not bothering anybody at all, and guys would drive by in trucks and go, Come on, baby. <laughs> Does this usually work for them? <laughs> What do the women there carry, like big chains with metal hooks on the end, just kind of snag them trucks as they go on by? Why, you romantic schema, you. I don't know, it's, uh, it's very, you know, they're so funny in, in North Carolina too, they're very comfortable around bugs. Now, I am not afraid of them, but I don't want them on my body or in my house if I can avoid it. These guys were so comfortable. One, one day I was in the woods with a friend and a big bug landed on my back. I mean, a big bug, I could feel it tugging on my shirt. So I go, would you just knock that bug off? And she goes, mm, nope, that's just a devil bug. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it was like she looked at it first to see if it was the kind of bug that should go or stay. <laughs> Those different bugs there have different rights. I go, it's a bug. It's on my back. I would like it off. Thank you. Mm, nope, that's just a devil bug. It won't even hurt you. <laughs> it's got a dog in its mouth. <laughs> If you could just knock it off my back. <laughs> also, I get very nervous with, there's like a group of people in this 
So I don't like the people in Tennessee last year that didn't want anybody to read books that suggested there was life before Bible stories. Remember them? <laughs> Book burning in 1986. Did we learn nothing from Footloose? <laughs> to worry about anything other than that. Actually, I am not a, uh, I'm not a religious person. I, I don't believe in God. I, uh, well, I'm a devout atheist. I still go to church. I'm not a heathen. <laughs> I go to an atheist church. We have crippled guys who stand up and testify that they were crippled and they still are. <laughs> That's now the, uh, as you, drive, as you drive out of the airport in Eugene, Oregon, there's a big billboard that says the wages of sin are death. I guess that's their way of saying welcome to town. <laughs> I would imagine that the wages of sin are death. But by the time they take taxes out, it's just kind of a tired feeling, really. <laughs> well, listen, you guys, I think it's kind of near in time to go, I guess, kind of. I have to go create a life.